You know, when you're first starting out and you're trying to get out of the mediocre lifestyle, so you're trying to get out of your nine to five job, some of you might have high paying nine to five jobs and you might like your job, so this doesn't apply to you. But for the ones who are trying to escape a mediocre life by getting out of their average salary and trying to do something on the side, there is one real imperative important thing that you actually need to do. In order to be able to get out of your nine to five job, you need to have enough time where you can focus on your next business. And the only times you have is after work, before work, and on the weekends. Now let's be completely realistic. I know what it's like. I know you you need some downtime. You want to have a little bit of fun and you want to at least go to the gym or there's, uh, there's other life admin that you need to get on with. So let's be realistic. Before work is not going to happen. After work is likely and the weekends are also very likely. Now what is it that you need to do in order to be able to focus on those weekends or after work? So I'll tell you what it is that you shouldn't be doing based on my experiences. You see, when I drink alcohol, it's very difficult to focus on anything moving forward. If you go to have a couple of drinks after work with the boys, you will not do any work after that. Simple. If you go out on the weekend and you have one too many drinks on the Friday night or one too many drinks on the Saturday night, you will do no work the next day. Because it's extremely difficult to focus after you've been drinking alcohol. It completely takes you off your pathway. So it's thoroughly advisable to actually stay sober if you're trying to start a business. Once you get that business going and once you find that you've got a bit more time, then it's probably a little bit easier at that point. You can take your foot off the gas and you can have those enjoyable nights to give yourself a celebration of some sort, the quick wins, you know. But ultimately, if you're trying to get out of the average nine to five life and trying to get out of earning an average salary because you want to make more money, then you'll have to be able to focus your time on on other aspects. So for example, if you now want to go and like research a bunch of crypto tokens, join telegram groups that are talking about different crypto tokens that you could buy with a few hundred dollars, with a few thousand dollars, let's say you want to take some risks with your own money and you want to buy a token, you want to sit on it, you need to know what you're buying. And the only way to do that is by doing a bunch of research either on YouTube or you know reading up on telegram groups and engaging with other people in these communities and sort of talking to them and being like, right, you know, because I did that YouTube video on, on, on data ownership protocol and I got like 50 people DM me for the private code. And that all requires time, right? You need time to be able to research these projects, to be able to find out like what recommendations people are giving you, what potential tokens that you could buy. So that's just one example of, let's say, you know, a, an apparent get rich quick scheme by buying crypto tokens and 10xing. Like it is possible to actually make a, a, a fair amount of money by buying crypto tokens. But you have to do your research, right? You're not going to just buy like the first token that you see on a, on a YouTube page or on a Telegram group. So in order to have that focus, your mind needs to be clear. And your mind is clear when you do not drink alcohol. You literally cannot drink for the first few months. If you could try and go teetotal, you'll have a chance of escaping in the mediocre life right? That's, there's no two ways about it. Every single entrepreneur will tell you, even the guys at the top of their game, right? Some of my boys um, who, you know, the Rob Lipsets of this world, the Justin Wallers of this world, these guys are not drinking. They're dr and if they are, they're drinking very, very limited amounts. They might have one drink on a night out. They might have one glass of wine. But other than that, that's it. They're not getting tipsy. They're not getting trashed. Because if you do, then you completely lose focus. And you just can't get on with your work. You just can't. When I, like this weekend, I went out on Saturday night, went to like a YSL fashion party. I drank heavy. We had a table. We finished two bottles of, uh, of gin. I probably drank about eight, nine drinks. I was destroyed. Fair enough, I had a great time. On Sunday, I was extremely hungover. On Monday, I was also struggling to recover. Like by Tuesday and Wednesday, I'd finally like made some sort of recovery, even though I went to the gym. And I felt like shit. I felt like I was falling behind in my life. I was literally falling behind. I was like, dude, haven't been able to do any work, been like, been a bit slow. And if I have done any work, I was unproductive, unfocused. Now it's Thursday night and I'm like, like Thursday and I'm finally like back to 100%. 
So that's what alcohol does, completely puts you off your pathway. So if you're trying to build something, you're going to need the level of focus and concentration and and not having a mushy, anxious mind. And guess what a hungover mind is? A hungover mind is an anxious, slow, laborious mind which just needs more dopamine. It needs more food. It needs just like more of a 60-second rush on bullshit Instagram shorts. Whatever you're doing, that's what a hungover mind seeks to do. So it's a dangerous game, drinking this alcohol and you know having a blast. If you've got something to celebrate, I'd say fair enough, you can go ahead and celebrate that. But you know, just giving you an example, even for myself, if I'm out there and I'm like smashing alcohol on on a weekend or smashing alcohol during the week, I'm getting nothing done. I'm not making any videos. I'm tired. I'm unfocused. I'm unable to present different content strategies. My mind is just completely not with it, right? Even the smartest people in the world that, that drink will completely lose their focus and will just not be able to produce any work. So for you, especially if you're going to your nine to five, which you probably are, you're thinking about ways to escape that and how you're going to you know, match your salary or at least make a buck on the side, you're going to need to focus, you're going to need time, you're going to need the extra hours, you will be tired after work. I understand that. Of course, you're going to be tired after work, you won't have the energy. So imagine what alcohol is going to do to you. It's going to make you even more tired. It's going to make you laborious and slow and hungover. And that's not the mindset that you want to be on when you're trying to build a business, when you're trying to escape the mediocre life, when you're trying to make... Listen, I've been through this shit myself. I had the jobs. I hated the jobs. And so you know what I did? At night after work, that's when I started really putting in the hours. And on the weekends. I'd have one night on the weekend to enjoy myself a little bit, let a bit loose, but not too loose. The more alcohol I drank, the harder it was for me to get back on the straight and narrow. All right. So just remember, if you're trying to build a business, if you're trying to research anything, if you're trying to buy a bunch of crypto tokens that are hopefully going to match your salary, you're going to stake them, you're going to invest in them, they're going to potentially 10x, then you're going to sell that, then you're going to find another investment. All of that requires time and research. No one's going to actually do that for you. Okay. So you know, I'll do my best to be posting the tokens that I'm buying. I haven't bought any token since I bought into the private sale of DOP because I'm waiting for that one to launch. Once it launches, then I can take out a fair amount of my stake and profits, hopefully, and then reinvest in other tokens because I'm spending most of my time making content. Now, alcohol is the only thing which is completely pushing me off my path. And I mean that. It's the only thing that's completely veering me off. It's so easy to sit there and have a drink. Every time I do and I get a little bit too drunk on the weekends, guess what? I get nothing done. A couple of days, even the day after, even a couple of days after, I'm slow, I'm laborious. So if the, my one piece of advice to you, we're coming up to the weekend, really try your best to, to limit your alcohol intake and to start focusing your mind. Because when alcohol is in your body and in your blood, it is so hard to focus your mind on a particular task, especially when you're trying a new business. You need that extra energy and extra effort at the beginning to start something new. It's hard. Listen, I'm in the same boat as you. I'm starting off as a content creator. And fair enough, I've got a bit of money to pay an agency and stuff. But I'm the one who's driving all the strategy. I'm the one who's doing all the work. I'm the one who's thinking about all of this work. I'm starting from the very, very beginning. And that means I need to focus and get back into work and get back into the long days. And that means not drinking alcohol, not going down this dopamine-fueled lifestyle. And on Sunday, I was destroyed. I was smoking weed. I was eating all sorts of crappy food because I was so hungover from the night before. And it was just so hard to recover from that alcohol that now finally it's Thursday and my mind is clear because it's been three days since I haven't drank or taken any drugs. God damn, like I really needed this. And finally, I'm back in the game today. So... You know, I hope you've learned something from this and I hope in order for you to focus that you you really do consider putting the drinks down and going sober for a short while. I'm not saying quit and give up because that's extreme and I don't believe in extreme movements. I'm certainly not going to quit alcohol. I'm still going to drink from time to time. But in the very, very early stages of building a business where I'm at right now and where you're probably at because you're trying to escape whatever you're currently doing, you're trying to escape that current lifestyle, that nine to five job, that requires time, effort and focus in the first few months. You're going to need all the focus you could possibly get. So I'd cut out the alcohol for now. And when you're ready and you have things to celebrate, then you can start engaging and enjoying it again. All right? So I hope this video was useful. See you in the next one, chaps.